We have a 1952 Jaguar here. During our time in business, we, we did a lot of these Jaguars over in our shop. Fred and I are going to put this together. What we're doing here, or what we used to do, is take the bodies off the frame and cut them in half. You had a steel rocker here, you had a wooden floorboard and a steel tunnel and a rocker, of course, on the other side, so it was easy to cut the bodies in half. The reason we did that is because we could send the, the rear or the front to the strip tank separately and get it clean. That way we wouldn't have a lot of bare metal laying around. There's an identical Jaguar rear end up there. Now our next step is to get some alignment and we start by getting the alignment on the front door. We want to get this door opening looking right. We do this by putting these shims in here between the hinge and the door. After we get enough clearance, we'll check it here on the outside, make sure we've got a nice opening all the way down. This tape is on here to keep us from damaging the body, even though this is only a base color. We put a base color on these so we can get the engine compartment and the underside all painted before we ever do anything further. Our next move is to put a couple of bolts in our rocker panel here, just to hold it up here steady. This is a new rocker panel. Then we'll take our lock pillar and we'll take it back here where we kept this area bare and we're going to put it on with sheet metal screws right here. That way we can move it around if we have to. We'll close the door and we'll try to get a good opening up and down here by shifting the body forward or backwards. Once we have it all shifted, then we'll take and lock it down, MIG the whole thing together, and then we'll be ready to remove the doors, metal finish the doors, and get them painted also. We should have a real pretty automobile when this is finished.